Uh, class today will be going over a teapot demonstration. Um, a teapot consists of four basic, four basic pieces. The main pot, which I'll be showing you today, a handle, a lid, and a spout. I'll be showing you everything but the handle today. This is a Ceramics 3 project, so if, if you're watching, um, this is a Ceramics 3 project. This is already centered, so the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to make an entry hole, make it flat on the bottom. Teapots can be almost any shape. Generally, most people like teapots to be bulbous, or the correct word would be convex, which is round, concave, it's caving in. Um, so, recenter this piece of clay. Start to pull it. You want to keep a nice thick rim because this will be a galley teapot. It'll have a galley lid, which means the lid sits inside of the galley. So teapots, there's a lot of different ways you can make them. You can make them tall, you can make them small and squatty, tall and thin. Um, a couple important elements on a teapot though, is you wanna make sure that wherever you put the spout, you generally want the spout on the top half of the teapot and the reason why, and you want the spout angled up, not down. And the reason for that is if it's angled down, not up, then the, uh, if it's angled down, then all the tea will spill out of it. Now, a lot of people ask, can you cook with these? Have you ever seen anyone put a teapot on a stove? That's my first question. No. You put a tea kettle. A tea kettle is used for boiling the tea. A teapot is used for steeping. So generally, you go from the tea kettle to the teapot. So, um... So this teapot's going to be really bulbous. So I'm going to come in here and start bringing this thing out. You'll see as it, it gets more bulbous, the uh, shorter the project will become. I'm gonna put two big bulbs in here. And then off the second one, that'll be where the teapot comes off of. So, a lot of mis uh, mistake that a lot of ceramics one and two students make, I hope my ceramics three students don't make the same mistake. They try to make the form, when they pull up their project, they won't pull up a straight cylinder. They'll pull up a, they'll try to pull up a pot that's bulbous. That's not the way to do it. The way that you should do it is you should always pull up Every pot that you make, with the exception of bowls, you want them to go straight up, and then you alter the shape of them. You never, you almost never, uh, you almost never just go straight into uh, into the shape that you want. You want to make the cylinder, and then you stretch it out. And the reason why is it's very, very difficult. If I tried to pull this up right now, I would have a very difficult time because gravity's now working against me and not with me. So on this teapot, I could put the spout in two different areas if 
I wanted to. I could put it on, I could come out right here and I could put the handle down. There's, there's a lot of different ways that I could do, I could make this teapot. I could have a, a big long spout coming out from here and generally you want the, the tip of the spout to be level with the rim or higher. And the reason why is because if you fill up the water, you don't want the water already spilling out before you even pick it up out of the, out of the uh, spout. So I could put a teapot spout off of right here. I could put one off of right here. I just need to make it a little bit taller. I could put a handle over the top here, or I could put a handle from the back, or I could put two little, um, uh, two little U's of clay, two little things here, and then I could put a bamboo spout a bamboo handle on it. So there's a lot of different ways that you can do your uh, teapots. Um, I'm just gonna refine this and then I'm gonna put a galley on it. But do you notice when I make that bulb, how much I don't mess with the shape and how dry I like to keep the pots? If you let your pot, if you keep, if you put this shape and then you try to let it get really, uh, if you try to keep messing with this shape and it was wet, you'd ruin it. At this point right here, there's no water on the outside of my pot. At least I try to keep, I try to keep no water on it. Okay, so now for a galley. This is called an inset lid. And the reason why is the lid sets inside of the pot. Um, in the galley. So the first thing that you have to have with your galley is you have to have the rim centered. If it's not centered, it's going to be so much more difficult for you. Um, I need a wooden rib. Someone grab me one quick. Um, so the first thing you need to do is I made my whole pot. The last step of making my the last step of making oh my teapot. Um, is putting a galley on it. So you want a wooden rib with a 90 degree angle on it. You don't want it to be round right here or you want a nice sharp edge. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my fingers wet. The rim's going to be wet. It's the only part of the pot that's actually gonna be wet right now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab the rim just like I'm gonna recenter the, the clay or compress the rim and then I take my wooden rib and you don't want to push down halfway in between. You want to push down just barely on the outside of it because when you push down, the clay is going to widen out. If I push down in the center of the rim, right in the middle, this the rim would actually get too thin. So I go about two thirds in and then I push down right there. Thank you. You know, I think one of the reasons that I'm I'm okay at ceramics is just the moral support that I have for my students. <laughs> I mean, it just, I'll tell you what, you guys just make me happy. That's why I go home and binge watch Netflix every day to recover. <laughs> what show? Dude, I just, I don't even know, I just watch all of them. I'm just joking. All right, I need a piece of plastic. All right, here. Generally. Uh, <laughs> um, it's a little bit more than Oh, yeah, Longmire. I like Longmire. You don't anymore. I do, but the season's over. Okay, so I'll take a piece of plastic and go over the rim of it. That makes it really nice and smooth. And that is the first, that's how you make the basic shape of a teapot. Now I'm going to cut this off and... I'll set it down and I'll make the spout. Okay, so the way to pick this teapot up, my hands, have you noticed? If by ceramics 3 you haven't learned this, your hands have to be clean. They have to be completely dry, completely clean. This is completely dry, completely clean. In ceramics 1 you can get away with having nasty hands, but your projects are going to be nicer in ceramics 3, don't ruin it. You take it off, you immediately grab it from the bottom here. As you notice, my hand's not touching the bottom half of the pot. 